Let's get Bonnie Dundee bagpipe ready. The link's below for all the lessons as well as some sheet music. And I got highlighted on the sheet music which lesson is where. So you're not going to get too confused. And I do the non belge version and the belge version. It's all good. And here in lesson one, we're doing just the first little chunk of this fun 6-8 march. Bonnie Dundee. So we're going to go a little bit farther than that. But I'm just going to pull up my sheet music here. So that's how far we're going to go in lesson one. So we're starting on the introductory note on our E note, bottom hand. Usually our right hand is in the low A position. Uh, so that means the pinky's up. Our E, our ring finger of our top hand is up. Usually our left hand's our top hand. And if you're, if you're not sure on positioning and, and uh, notes and that, you can check out my beginner bagpipe workshop too. It's, if you go to the workshop link below, you'll be able to, to see that one as well. So we're on our E. And we have these two pickup notes, a C and then a D. If we're, if we're not doing embellishments at all, we just go from E to C. So we're going to drop down that ring finger and we're going to drop down that pinky finger of the bottom hand, lift up those middle two fingers of the bottom hand, and all that has to happen, yes, at the same time. And then that next note, to get to the D, we're just lifting up the top finger of the bottom hand. D, da, da. And these are, these are 16th notes, so they're quite short. You don't have to know a lot of music theory, but know the C and the D are quite short. And then that E is going to be a long note. It's a quarter note, so it's a longer note. Um, so let's talk about grace notes in this little intro bit. So if you're starting in on the E, which isn't written in the sheet music, but that's just kind of the first introductory note to a lot of big piping tunes is our E. So we're going to do a G grace note to the C. So top finger lifts. We do that note transition to the C, top finger comes down. And if grace notes are too much, you don't have to worry about that and just hold on tight and we'll, we'll progress through the, less, the rest of this bit. But just to talk about these first two grace notes initially. So we have our E, G grace note, C and that grace note finger is the last to come down. And you hear we have one other grace note, so not from the C to D, not yet. That's just lifting the finger. And then we have the grace note from the D up to E. And we didn't talk about that transition yet, so let's just take a moment to talk about that. We have to drop down those three fingers and lift up the pinky finger of the bottom hand. At the same time, we lift up the ring finger of the top hand. And if you're going to get there with a G grace note, that top finger has to lift. You do the transition, top finger comes down. So that's with both grace notes. And here's no grace notes. So take some time with that, get the rhythm of it. I'm gonna move my mic a wee bit closer. Maybe I'll come through a little bit more. There's the non-grace note version, here's the grace notes. And then we have a big fat grip. So a grip, both fingers come down, we hit the low G, we do a D grace note up and down, that's the top finger of the bottom hand. And then we go, boom, right back up to E, ring finger and pinky both lift. Just to slow that grip down for a moment, low G, D grace note, we're on low G again, then back up to E. But it's got to happen quicker, all in one movement. If the grip is like, whoa, that's way too much, then just do an E strike, because we have two E's in a row. We need to separate those two E's with something. So just do an E strike with that ring finger. So that's your option if the grip's a little bit much. And then we have yet a third E in a row. So if you're like, well, gee, I've done the E strike, now what? Now do a G grace note. And don't panic if you're not doing G grace notes yet, because we're just hanging out on that E. So 
we have first we have our strike or our grip and then we have our G grace note or our doubling which we'll talk about in a moment so here's the basic version no grace notes on the intro E strike and then E G G grace note on the E And that's as far as we're going in lesson one, but we'll talk about that E doubling. So the only other thing I added in after that E strike, listen again, there's just two more notes. So those last two notes, we've done our E strike, we've done our G grace note on the E, and then we go down to C, back to E. So we've already done that C to E, trans, that E to C, and C to E transition a whole bunch of times, so that shouldn't feel too too uh, too dreadful. <laughs> so we're those are the last two notes, C E. Um, so we start with that C D E. We're on the E. We're with the strike. We're on the E with the G grace note. Then we do a C E. So so we're kind of you know should be a little bit more familiar with that transition, um, with the, with those C's and then back up to E. So the ring finger and the pinky finger drop down, middle two fingers come up, and then we just do the opposite. Those middle two fingers come down, ring finger and pinky come up. One more time without embellishments, and then we'll add in that doubling. Or not embellishments. Sorry, fingers aren't listening to me either. So there we have the non-embellished version. The only embellishments we're missing here, that E doubling. So if you've done the grip, now we need the E doubling. So that E doubling, G grace note, top finger, second grace note, double, hence two, middle finger, up and down. So we have first the top finger, then the middle finger, that's our doubling. And you want to make sure that first finger gets back to its hole before the second finger lifts. And then when we're going down to that C, we're going to get there with a G grace note if you want to add in that last grace note. So that top finger lifts, you go down to the C, top finger comes down, and then you just hop up to E, no grace note on that version. So here, nice and slow, is the embellished version. And again, click on the link below for the workshop and all the lessons. One more time and then I'll move on. Can't wait to see you in lesson two. Click on the link below if you, this lesson's helpful. Like, subscribe, let me know in the comments, and uh, good luck piping. Keep on piping on.